in your heart and your actions, they must be in line. You see the massacring that's happening to our brothers and sisters. And then you see what they are saying on their tongues. And this then demonstrates to you what's in their hearts. The Muslims are bleeding over here more than the Muslims that are bleeding over there. They're telling you to not despair. They're telling you do not lose hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are the ones who have lost everything. They don't have anything anymore. But they are the ones who are still smiling. You see them full of ashes, with rubble, bleeding. Every single part of their body is injured. They are with their moms, their dads, all around together. And they're saying, oh, Ummah, we are going to be okay. What is Iman then? If it's not that. Iman is not as easy as wearing a thobe or wearing a hijab. Iman is not as easy as going to a class once a week that you're not even really interested about. Wallahi, it is not. Iman is not about my father is a sheikh or my mother prays at Qiyamul Layl. That's your father and that's your mother. Iman is about what you have. Inna akramakum indallahi atqakum. So Allah is alimun. He knows who really has it. He's khabir subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's well acquainted of the people who try to hide within the ummah that pretend to have iman, but they don't have any iman or they lack iman. So a person has to look after this. A person has to ensure that they are paying attention to the iman.